This is a paid advertisement. Welcome back to the Noon Show and welcome to Ask the Expert on WBAY TV 2 and welcome back to a familiar face. Dr. Tyson from Tower Clock Eye Center joins us. Doctor, I feel like every time we visit you blow my mind with some type of technology that is available through your expertise at Tower Clock. Today is no different. Adjustable lenses. I don't understand how this right. works with light right. and the adjustable nature. Yeah. This is a game changer to me on the outside though for a cataract patient. Yeah, exactly. And I think one of the, the things that even when we walk into a room that first day postoperatively, and it's always this, how well is the patient seeing? Are they happy? Are we going to be happy? Uh, this uh, lens technology does change the game a little bit. Uh, the idea here is that uh, for as long as cataract surgery has happened, we do measurements prior to surgery. We then use those measurements to pick a specific lens power that will then go into the eye and yield some sort of vision. And for a lot of patients, you know, ideally, maybe they're gonna wanna see distance, drive, watch television without glasses, try to get them essentially 20, 20 or close to that. Uh, and the calculations over the years have become better and better and better. The, the problem though is sometimes you end up with what we term a refractive surprise, where the patient isn't quite seeing as well. And then we have to talk about how do we close that gap? Are we gonna maybe do a lens exchange or put in a secondary implant called a piggyback lens? Well, what this technology does, this light adjustable lens technology, is allows us to change that outcome after the surgery by exposing that lens to specific uh, visible uh, wavelength of light, 365 uh, nanometers. And we put the patient in front of a, a machine. We, we use a, a foot pedal, and it's just a gentle uh, light exposure for 30 to uh, 60 seconds. And we program in, you know, where does the patient start? What is their prescription post-surgery? Where do they want to get to? Do they want to be a little more nearsighted, a little more farsighted? Uh, and we can do that and do that in tandem with both eyes. It is, uh, allows patients to sort of customize their surgical experience. Uh, where we have found it to be most important actually for patients who've had previous refractive surgery, because that's a subset of patients where our calculations aren't going to be as accurate, and we've known that forever, and there have been various different ways to try to close that gap towards perfection. We've got wonderful instruments with brilliant minds coming up with all of these different formulas to try to achieve perfection every time. But again, the light adjustable lens allows us to change how the patient sees after surgery, fundamentally different. So to find out if you're a good candidate for this, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, just call the clinic. Uh, uh, right here in Green Bay or Appleton. Excellent. That information is right there on your screen, and we'll get you back to the noon show right after this. The preceding was a paid advertisement.